Hello and welcome to Only Connect, the quiz that's become an institution, which is handy because it's where many of our contestants should probably be. Because they're so clever, everyone knows it's a fine line. And we know that tonight's teams are particularly clever because they won their heats. This is a quarter-final, so we'll be saying hello again to, on my right, Paul Steeples, a civil servant who enjoys European travel and visiting art galleries. William Diath, an Oxford maths graduate who enjoys trekking, skiing and scuba diving. And their captain, David Lee, a modern languages graduate with a passion for all things Spanish. They are all analysts of some description in their working lives. They are the analysts. So, David, how are you feeling about the game and your opposition? Well, as you say, tougher, uh, tougher questions, tougher opposition in the second round. But uh, we'll see how we do. I think we're quietly confident. Well, let's take a look at that tough opposition tonight. You are up against, on my left, Simon Jelly, an Oxford graduate and keen amateur hockey player. John Loveluck, a consultant engineer with a love of cycling, tennis and fine dining. And their captain, Bruce Lynn, a clean technology engineer and keen linguist who hails from Toronto. They all specialise in providing technical solutions to complex problems. They are the technologists. So, Bruce, you beat the joggers in your heat. How did that match go? I think we, were, we knew we were in for a, a tough fight after the first two rounds, but I think, you know, the team together did really well on the wall and um, I was really happy. What's interesting about my background notes is that you're originally described as an accomplished linguist and someone's crossed it out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm interested in language and I speak a number of them quite poorly. Well, let's see if you can speak the language of quiz. And if you're bilingual in that at home, later on you'll be able to play the connecting wall live along with the teams, as long as you've got some form of computer to do that on. But what we're going to do now is play round one, which I simply want to know what's the connection between four apparently random clues. You probably remember that from the heat. Technologists, you won the toss, you'll be going first. Please choose a question. Could we start with the lion, please? Yes, you may. Your first clue of the quarterfinal okay. is coming up now. It rings some vague bell with the... Uh, next, please. Jen Babies, Doctor Who's Pockets. Um, no, no, oh, they're yes. They were recently... Um, there was recently the geriatrics thing of the, their anniversary, but I don't know how old. Uh, uh, next, please. What? Mandrakes? What's that? Mandrakes. They're, they're plants, right? Yeah, they are plants. Mandrakes. They're plant roots, aren't they? Next, please. Uh, Five seconds. I think you have. Uh, John, do you want to take this one? No, I <laughs> come up with a clue. Um... Well, if nobody wants to take it, I'm going to see if your opponents do. Possible bonus for you, analysts. Screaming. Screaming is the answer. Could you explain it to the technologists? David Such was screaming Lord Such. Uh, mandrakes in mythology scream when you pluck them out of the ground. Um, and the other two I'm nowhere on, but... The Wilhelm scream is a sound effect in films. Private Wilhelm was a character in a film called Distant Drums, and his screaming was used as a, as a sound effect uh, later on. Jelly Babies, there's an experiment, Screaming Jelly Babies. It's to do with the energy in food. Jelly Babies make a sort of a screaming noise if you apply heat and oxygen to them. But well done, screaming is correct, and uh, analysts, you may now choose your own question. Two reads, please. OK, that's going to be the music question. You'll be hearing the clues. William, you look delighted. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy it. The first clue is coming in now. I went on the road when I was eight years old. When I turned 15, I was stealing the show. Money to burn and the girls are pretty. It didn't take me long to learn that I was born to put Next, please. It had to be you. It had to be you. Next, please. Can make a sunrise. Who can make a sunrise? Sprinkle it with you. Sprinkle it with you. Cover it with chocolate and a miracle. Next, please. There's something strange in your neighborhood. Five seconds. Two seconds. Two seconds. Songs that are film titles. They are not songs that are film titles. So now it's the technologists who have the chance of a bonus. Are they related by candy? No, they're not. What are you thinking? Thought I heard, thought I heard the Candyman can and there's a Marshmallow Man in uh, Ghostbusters. Oh, yeah, that's quite nice. Well, you did hear the Candyman, Sammy Davis Jr. 
You heard the theme from Ghostbusters, performed by Ray yeah. Parker Jr. Junior. Junior. You heard oh. the man who definitely wants to marry me. It's only him who doesn't know it. Harry Connick Jr. It had to be you. And Hank Williams Jr. Born to Boogie. They are all artists with Jr. in their names. So no points there. Technologists, your turn. Water. Water. OK, here's your first clue coming up now. Pluto. Next. Things that... See? Books. Um, those things are red. I, th I think we need another one. Yeah. Next. Martin and Bob just got in. TV show, do you know this? No, I don't know at all. Do you know it? Next. 24. Things you can film with. Ten seconds. Oh, okay. Is it all sort of real time? Like, okay, yeah, yeah, no. Um, uh, we think there are things that happen in real time. There you go. They are films and TV shows that unfold in real time. Rope, the Alfred Hitchcock, that's a real time movie. Phone Booth, do you know that one? Yeah, I've seen it's a thriller, isn't it? It's I've not thriller. actually it. happens in a phone booth in New York. It's quite it? recent. Colin Farrell is in it. Roger and Val have just got in. That was a BBC series with Dawn French and Alfred Molina. Little half hours. The half hour after a couple got home in 24, of course, the TV show. They all unfold in real time. Well done. Analysts, over to you. Twisted flux, please. All right. These are going to be picture clues. Here's the first one. OK. Alan. Mm -hmm. Next, please. They have special names, those green ones. Don't know. OK, next, please. Cal Pattinson. Cal Pattinson. Cal Next, please. Ten seconds. Mr. Crowley. Three seconds. Nope, you're out of time. So it's a bonus chance for you technologists. Uh, they're all pie related. The second clue. Uh, I suppose there's a British delicacy called the Wellington pie. Oh, you've eaten my cooking. No, they're not all pies. These are all things that are thrown in world championships. There is a mobile phone throwing competition annually in Finland. Mm -hmm. Wellington boots. That's happened since about 1992. There's been a Wellington boot throwing contest. Cow chips, they are called. There is a championship of cow chip throwing in Oklahoma. I don't know, I'm afraid to tell you the name of the town. It is Beaver. And custard pies. There's a custard pie throwing contest in Kent annually. They can all be thrown in championships. All right, technologists, please choose a question. Horned Viper. OK. Here's the first clue coming up now. Next, please. It doesn't mean anything to me, it sounds like a biscuit or a... You know, it is. Yeah. Next. I am... Oh, well, these are... I, I, I am... It's, uh, it's I am, I and I'm Vic Pinkhamer. I'm Vic Pinkhamer. Next. It's, it's the dot dash. dash. Dot dash. Yeah. OK, short one. <laughs> um, we think there's things which are short and then long. Just in the nick of time, there are things with a short, long rhythm. Cardiac cycle, the heartbeat, doo -doo, like that. Scotch snap. It's in Scottish dancing. It's a dotted rhythm note. I am, that's a short syllable, long syllable in poetry. And the A in Morse code, dot dash. Things with a short, long rhythm. Very well done. Back to you then, analysts, for the eye of Horus. What is the connection here? Time starts now. Constituency that um, one of the MPs. It was, yeah, um, it was the former constituency. You know, it's, next, please. Mm -hmm. I was going to say something wrong. Um, triangles. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, yeah. life triangles. Yeah, yeah, triangles. Yeah. Triangles. Triangles. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they're all things that are done in triangles. Yes, they are. You're absolutely right. You're going to see the next two clues now. Can you tell me anything about these? Wakefield, Morley and Rothwell, I believe, is the rhubarb triangle. That's it. That's the area where Yorkshire forced rhubarb is grown. Slaves, molasses and rum was the basis of triangle trade. That's right, between New England, Africa and the West Indies. They all yeah. supplied each other. Mm. 
husband, wife, and mates just is a eternal triangle. Bizarre love triangle. <laughs> yes. um, and oxygen, fuel, and heat is um, the fire triangle. Together, that is the fire triangle. So well done. That means at the end of a very tough quarterfinal round one, the technologists have got two points, but the analysts are ahead with four. <laughs> Things will not get easier in round two because now the teams must first work out the connection and then tell me what comes forth in a sequence. You may only see a maximum of three clues this time, teams. Before answering, technologists, you'll be going first again. Please choose a hieroglyph. Uh, twisted flax. All right. First in the sequence is coming up. What is fourth? Time starts now. School system, things that want to be reformed. Things expanded. Next. Are they layers? Like you work your way up, or like the bigger, smaller? Next. See, poor, see the responsibilities of something. Um, it means, um, this is good. One, um, running out of time, so we need to check that. Five seconds. Um, um, one immigration. I'm afraid that's not the answer. So, analysts, please have a go for a bonus. One water system. That's not it either. What's your logic? Levels of critical infrastructure or something like that. What was your logic, technologists? Responsibilities of a, a ministry. I see how you're thinking, but no. This is a cultural question, a TV question. They are the themes from oh. Seasons of the Wire. <laughs> the first season of The Wire was about the drug trade. Following on from that, Seaport City Government, the school system, The Wire, focused on those areas in Baltimore. All right, analysts, it's your turn to pick a question. Water, please. All right, first in the sequence coming up. What is fourth? Time starts now. Next, please. Could be more titans, but mm. I don't know what the fuck. Okay. Next, please. Oh, moon. Um, moons of Jupiter, oh, Saturn, yeah. Uranus, moons of Neptune, Triton. Oh, it, what's that? Is it sea gods? Five seconds. Yeah, sea gods. Sea gods. Yeah. Sea gods. Mm -hmm. Um, mythological creatures from the sea. Yeah, I'll take it. You, I heard you muttering sea gods, sea deities. That's yeah. what it is. It's the naming conventions for moons of the various planets going outwards from Jupiter to Neptune. Very good. Back to you now, technologists, to choose a question. Let's try two reads. Two reads. First in a sequence coming up. What's fourth? Time starts now. Sounds He's going to be... Um, they're going to be heraldic themes, I think, maybe. Okay, is it? Let's we'll go on next. Next. Um, so yeah, sitting, so standing, sitting, lying, and then couchant, maybe. Uh, let's get one more. Yeah, let's get one more. Next, please. Couchant, couchant, it wasn't couchant after oh. couchant. Now this is one I don't know. Prone in some way. <laughs> some prone. It would be that, yeah. it would be. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, okay, you think of something else then. Um, uh, Ten seconds. Is it? Is it Three seconds. Uh, supine. I'm afraid not. Possible bonus chance analysts. Up, uh, Passant. No, that's not right either. Bah. It means supine, but the word in, as I think you know, heraldic terms, dormant or dormant. It's the positions of a heraldic animal as it goes to sleep, staton, statant, standing on all four legs, sejant, sitting, couchant, and then dormant would be the lying down one. Unlucky. Analyst, it's your turn to choose. Lion, please. All right. Here's the first in the sequence. There's going to be a picture clue, okay. and I want to know what's in the fourth picture. Here's the first one. It's um, Blackpool. It's a Blackpool player, certainly. It's not all right, maybe. Next. Next, please. It's Tarly, is it? Yeah. It's Tarly, yeah. Um, what's the one? Things with a V, but oh, no. we can have another. Yeah, next, please. That is um, the. That's not even Eastern Standard, is it? No. Four hours. Ten behind. seconds. Um, 
Mm -hmm. Three seconds. Um, things that are minus four. That's wrong for so many reasons. It's not the connection, and I want to know what the fourth in the sequence is. So I'm afraid I'm going over to the technologist for a possible bonus point. Do we know anything about the map? No. Nope. Uh, it's Pacific. It's Pacific. Well, yes, it is Pacific. I wasn't expecting <laughs> to hear that. Very well done. Why? Um, there are the oceans in increasing size. That's exactly what it is. Oceans by surface area. That is southern in the first one. Keith Southern, mm. a footballer for Blackpool. An Indian meal. I think you went too specific there. And not Eastern Standard Time, but Atlantic Standard Time. Yeah, southern Eastern. Indian Atlantic getting bigger. Pacific. Atlantic. We've got a picture of the Pacific Rim. Well done. Bonus point to you, technologists, and the chance to choose your own question. Uh, horned uh, slug viper. The horned viper. Well recognised. Your first clue of a sequence is coming up. What's fourth? Time starts now. Oh, oh God. He's a little oh. rings. He's a king. Oh, I think it's the only one anyone knows, but I need more. Um, next, please. Oh, um, these are people who these are people who are ring bearers. Smeagol, yes, and then yeah. Gollum, and then it's got to be Frodo, right? I think I don't want to go for it. Go okay. see if Gollum was there. Yeah. Next, Bilbo. It oh, is. Yeah, it's yeah, Frodo. It's Frodo. <laughs> Uh, Frodo Baggins. Ah, you should have come in after two clues. Okay. It is Frodo. They are the wearers of the One Ring in Tolkien's Lord of the Rings. And the next to wear the ring, Frodo. Back to you then, analysts. Mm -hmm. Only the Eye of Horus that remains. Yeah. So your first clue is coming up now. M40, London to Oxford and Birmingham. Mm -hmm. Next. And then what? Is it clockwise could be, around? Could be clockwise. No, it could be going yeah, yeah. Clockwise going east. Then turns over to the M11. And then what after that's him to uh, is it or is it something else? Next, please. M11. 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 He's going that way, right? Yeah. 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 The M11. Excellent. It is the M11. Why is it the M11? Um, starting in the west and moving clockwise. Uh, those are motorways on exit from London. Basically, yes. They are motorways with junctions on the M25, M25 the yeah. orbital ring road, and it's going clockwise next <coughs> after the A1M would be the M11. Well done for the points. And that means at the end of round two, the technologists have got five points, but the analysts are ahead with eight. It's connecting wall time, and if you want to play along at the same time as the teams, then quickly get a computer, quickly hurry, plug it in, get it ready. It's live online at the same time. For you, though, analysts, it will be on the screen, so please choose lion or water. Of lion, please, Victoria. OK, you have got two and a half minutes to solve this wall, starting now. Um. <laughs> Got some plants. Got some diseases. Yeah. There are plants and skin diseases in Pitago hives. But a hickey is a skin thing. Yeah. Yeah. Ringworm is as well, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Ringworms are not there. No. Yeah. I don't know what purple is. Really. That, that, that could that be a plant. Yeah, it could be. A hickey is more of a bite, isn't it? I've so, yeah. got for ringworm instead. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so mm -hmm. we've got names. There's Atticus Finch. Hey, Atticus Finch, mm. yes. But what? Uh... There's, yeah, there's a load of girls' names. There's a load of plants. Mm. Isn't, the, isn't the potato from some weird family like the same one as the bell? Could be. Same family or I something. They might, yeah. Now you've used one minute. Okay. Hickey, mini, freaky. Oh, hang on. Yeah. yeah. What? Um, I think they're all um, newspaper. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. 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 So, mini, Frankie, Cassie, Cassie and, and Effie. Effie. Are they all theme they're characters in something? Um. Yeah. Banana split? Mm -hmm. No, 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 not the banana split. Be, I don't know. But not not Josie and the yeah. pussy cats either. Um, Cassie, isn't it? Oh. 
There's all newspaper columns. Mm. Yes, that's... Are, are they, what family? Mm. They'll be from the same. Do you want to try them? Mm. Mm. That's it. You've solved the wall. Very well done. So that's four points right away for those groups, and there are bonus points available for the connections. So, Papura, Ringworm, Hives, Impetigo. Um, skin conditions. Will they? Yeah, well, mm. I'll take it. Skin discolorations, yeah. really. Things that cause the skin to be discoloured. Next group, Belladonna, Potato, Oleander, Peony. Um, extreme examples of plants from the same family. That's not the answer, and I think... I was a bit leaning to the first, I okay. really can't take that. Okay. They're not from the same family. What they are is all poisonous. Mm. Poisonous oh, plants. Oh. The potato, people might be surprised, oh, yeah. but its mm. plant has toxins in it, glycoalkaloids. Mm. All poisonous plants. Next group, Hickey, Atticus, Mandrake, Pandora. Uh, newspaper columns. Um, Can you give me any more? Gossip columns? Um, yeah, yeah, I'll kind take of it. gossipy, they're, Westminster-y... They're diary sort of, columns. Yeah, newspaper yeah, diary yeah. columns. Atticus in the Sunday Times, Hickey in the Daily Express. It was William Hickey before. Yeah. Mandrake, we saw Mandrakes earlier in the did, quiz, I think. Did. Mandrake is the diary column in the Telegraph and Pandora in the Independent. And the last group, Mini, Frankie, Effie, Cassie. Mm. I'm not so sure about this one. Um, members of the Saturdays. No, I think you know they're all characters and something. If you haven't seen it, you haven't seen it. Yeah. It's the E4 teenage drama Skins. Uh, characters okay. from Skins, that's where Fair they're enough. from. But there's four points for the groups that you sorted out, two more for the connections. That's a total of six. Time to bring in their opponents and see what they can do with the connecting wall. 16 different clues, of course, still jumbled up, still needs to be sorted into four connected groups of four. Technologists, it will be the water wall for you. You've got two and a half minutes to solve it, starting now. Okay. Um, okay. This good. royal family is the TV yeah. program. Yeah. Jack Tripper, Tripper. Martello is a kind of castle. Martello Tower, yep. Yeah. Ivory right. Tower, Conning Tower. Oh. Should we go for that one? Yeah, yeah. And then Lookout Tower. Yeah, there's going to be a fifth. There's going to be a fifth. Um, gonna be a fifth. Good Tower, Royal Tower. Bell Tower. Bell Tower. Okay. Uh, you cycle through those. Yep. Uh, oh, there we go. That was quick. Um, Roper is a character in Three Skin uh, Company. Uh, good, Barbara Good, Royal. There's, these Barbara are surnamed Royal. Trotter and Bucket. They're all surnames from TV programs. Yep. Uh, I imagine of there's families. And Ropers. Or Cranky, or Cranky. Start Cranky. 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 He's definitely a TV family, isn't it? Okay. Um, do you want to keep going yeah, through? Yeah. So, uh, not good. Shill, Roper. Uh, bucket. What's a shill? Royal. Wormwood. Okay, it's a little bit more complicated than that. Uh, to shield is to fool someone, but that's conning as a decoy. It's wormwood. That's used in drinks or somewhere. Yes, it? Wormwood's absinthe. in absinthe. Um, it's also, I believe, Chernobyl. Is oh, a shill a is a victim. A mark is a victim. Uh, uh, perhaps a. Uh, okay, these are all things in scams, right? You got a lookout and you got a bucket. Or yeah, else. well done. Maybe a trotter. Both of those. Um. Wormwood is at the end of the, uh, it's, it's like fire and brimstone stuff. Yeah, revelations. That's right. Kent, a minute left. Kent Brockman is a, uh, uh, Wormwood something in Harry Potter. I can't yeah, remember. that's another surname from, from the TV. Yeah. There's, um, works. Oh, good. No, they're, they're families, right? The royal family, the, the cranky. There's going to be a play of words in here somewhere we haven't got yet, but we've heard that one, I suppose. Yeah. Um, let's see. Very royal. It's going to be the lookout tower. No, yeah, the tower. Yeah. No, no, we got the tower. So, we're under 30 seconds now. Lookout is going to be your um, mark. I, I think these are scam victims, scam, scam slain. Um, but we might be missing one. Um, Roper? Rope to rope people yeah, in? Yeah, sure, yeah, that sounds, that sounds good. Um, and that's under 10 chill. seconds. And now we guess something randomly. And we get Five some seconds. something else randomly. No, that's it. We're out of time. The grid's frozen. But you did get two groups, so that's two points, and I can give you more points for the connections. Bell, Martello, Ivory, Conning. They're all towers. They're all towers. Bell Tower, Ivory Tower, Martello Tower, a fort built in the Napoleonic Wars, Conning Tower, and a submarine. Mark, Lookout, Roper, Shill. Uh, these are all slang from uh, scams, heists. That's, That's it, they're participants in a scam. Roper you came too late. That's the person who gets people's attention, ropes them in. 
OK, you can still get points for the connections in the groups you didn't find, so let's resolve the wall. Brockman, Medford, Royal, Good. Yes, their names of families from TV. Yeah, the Goods. Those are the British sitcom families. Terry and June Medford Terry. from One Full Terry and June. The Brockmans are in Outnumbered. Royal, you've got there, the Royal family, of course, and Tom and Barbara Good from The Good Life. And the last group, Bucket, Trotter, Cranky, Wormwood. These are Roald Dahl characters. They are Roald Dahl characters. Well yes, which one is James Char and the Giant Peach, then? Charlie Bucket. Uh, no, that's... Possibly not. <laughs> Charlie Bucket will be your man from Charlie, Charlie and the Chocolate, Chocolate Factory. It's James Trotter in James and the Giant Peach. George Cranky from George's Marvellous Medicine. And what do you think Wormwood's first name is? Is it going to be witches? Matilda? Or... That's Matilda, no. characters in Roald Dahl. So, two points for the groups you found and four points for the connections. That's a total of six points. Let's see what that does to the scores going into the final round. The technologists have got 11 points, but the analysts are ahead with 14. So round four will be decisive, the missing vowels round. We've taken the vowels out of well-known names, phrases or sayings, or perhaps they're not so well-known, this being a quarter-final. Teams, I want to know what are those disguised clues. Fingers on the buzzers. I can tell you that the first group are all amphibians. Technologists. Giant salamander. Correct. Technologists. Horn toad. Yes. Technologist. Axolotl. That's correct. Technologist. Poison arrow frog. You're right. Next category, lines from God Save the Queen. Analysts. Long to reign over us. Correct. Analysts. Thy choice of gifts in store. Correct. Technologists. May she defend our laws. Correct. Analysts. Send her victorious. Correct. Next category, lipids. Technologists. Too long, I'm afraid you lose a point possible bonus analysts. That's too long as well. It's suet. Next clue. Analysts. Ghee. Correct. Technologists. Olive oil. Correct. Technologists. Lenin. Correct. Next category, autobiographies published in 2010. Analysts. Decision point. By George W. Bush, correct. This one's Chris Evans' Memoirs of a Fruitcake. Next clue. Technologists. Confessions of a Conjurer. Correct, from Darren Brown. <laughs> is the end of the quiz. And a nail-biting round four leaves the technologists with 18 points, but the winners with 19 are the analysts. Unlucky technologists, a brilliant round four from you and a great quiz, but that is the end of your journey here. Analysts, you are through to the semi-finals. Very well done. Thank you for watching. See you next time. And I can see you. We have a special camera. Stop doing that at once. Goodbye. Stay with us. Or actually, maybe go and grab a pitchfork and a burning torch and come right back. We're on a search for Satan with Andy Hamilton next. Mm -hmm.